Hi guys, welcome back to my reaction series to the Slime Diaries, episode 11. Where is Santa Claus? We're going to have Santa Claus in this episode? Is Rimuru going to be Santa Claus this episode? I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, this is a going to be interesting one. So we're, it's, I'm assuming then it's going to be around uh, Christmas time in uh, Tempest. So I guess uh, without further ado, we'll jump into this episode in 3, 2, 1. And of course, Milam is eating still. You know this how, Rimuru? <laughs> True. You can become Santa Claus. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, it looks like he doesn't either exist here or... They just haven't heard of him. Santa Cross. <laughs> well, that hasn't happened. That's happened before. I do remember when she, Milam, threw, pretty much threw him across the room. <clears throat> and he just turned into, uh, well... He was just smashed into the uh, wall. And bits of Rimuru went everywhere. <laughs> Wouldn't be, probably be a great uh, experience to, for Rimuru. <laughs> but if, if Santa was an otherworlder, how, the question is then, how would he have gotten from, you know, this world to the human world and back again? I know he's meant to be like Santa and all that, but still, that does throw a little bit of a wrench into Rimuru's, um idea of uh, Sansa being an otherworlder. He, they're going to think he, they're talking about Rimuru here. Yeah, you really going... Yeah, you very much did face it, put it in face value that, you know, oh, it's Christmas, it's Santa, you know. But here, they have no idea, no knowledge of Christmas. <laughs> Do you, though? Well, they bought even little lights. And they're all dressed. And they're all dressed as Santa, too. Hmm. 
Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of suits you. It kind of suits you, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yes, yeah, probably best to just compliment him in, at this point. <laughs> oh my. Yes. Yes, Xion. Yes. Yes. She can be, um, Mrs. Claus. Yes, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> and it's even got a, bow, a Christmas bow on it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> um yeah <laughs> this is meant to be like 38 or something ah uh, and the milam's please open the yeah <laughs> that's not going to happen either Remember, who hasn't uh, Milam hasn't learnt. She's still destroying the doors. <laughs> Milam, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a, it's a, no, she's not. Yeah, th yeah, that makes sense. And we also got Christmas carols. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is going to be, this is adorable. Special advisor and singing coach Gabriel. Gabriel has also got a, a Santa outfit on. <laughs> I just love that Gabriel is voiced by um guy the same actor that did um Subaru. <laughs> Uh, go and have a bit of a not in the classroom. Not in the classroom. <laughs> and the elf princess is there too. <laughs> they had a bit of a fight. Musical differences. Musical differences, yes. They're having a fight over musical differences, Rimuro. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree as well? They've gone, put out all the stops. You know, we still have not heard her sisters talk at all. <laughs> I said, no, that's not 100% true, is it? No, I'm, I lie. They, they talked uh, in the, uh, one of the episodes in which they went to the, uh, the lake. Oh. Uh. 
Well, I wanted them to hear them talk. I've got it now. <laughs> Remember, it's just like, I need to get out of here. <laughs> Some potato chips. Temporary closed. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like uh, Trenny's sisters aren't particularly too happy with her ne neglecting her dryad duties. <laughs> I'm loving these Santa outfits though on the ladies. Oh, and <laughs> of course she's a. Uh... What is Romero uh, wearing? Is he meant to be a Christmas tree? <laughs> yes, I am to agree. It should lighten up a little bit. <laughs> You're going to get through the ringer tomorrow. <laughs> then, yeah, just start, keep drinking then. <laughs> Maybe not to your drop because you don't passing out is not fun, but uh sure. Ah You're not going to join the not going to join the festivities? <laughs> um, then what are you wearing then? <laughs> yeah, she's... Uh, oh, oh my. Oh, that's adorable. She's definitely, yeah, you can 100% tell that she's fallen in love with him. With Soy. Melon's going to have a good time here. Oh, nice. Roasted turkey. And, oh. Quiche. Oh, my. Oh, that looks good. Uh, good on you, Shauna. <laughs> oh. Oh, that would be nice to drink. <laughs> Apparently these two are going to show up in the second half of the, uh, of the second season. So I feel sorry for those who decide to skip this uh, show. Because <laughs> they're going to show up and the people are going to be like, who are they? <laughs> mm. 
Damn, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, after all, it's this for everybody. It'd be kind of pointless if nobody else ate. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, good on you. Yeah, good, good job, Sean. We, you need, you did a uh, great. And now we got Christmas cake. That's a, more like a wedding cake, but okay. Yeah, it's clearly. A representation of Rimuru. Mm. Uh. Oh dear. Oh no. Sure, no, what are you? No, no. No, it was not the reflection of the light. Oh, she's going to sing. We're going to have. The elf princess is going to sing. I didn't realize she could sing. What is the little elf girl up to? She looks like she's looking for somebody. Oh, uh, was she looking for Rimuru? Ah, uh, of course, I know who she's looking for. Obviously, our orc friend. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> this is adorably cute. <laughs> Rimuru is like, yeah, I, I can, I see you, I see you. Awesome that we got a song as well. <laughs> and he gets a Christmas outfit too. Vador. <laughs> it's Christmas though. <laughs> and I'm sure, Vador, you really want a present as well. <laughs> what w yes in free what would you give uh Vidora as a present diligence diligence <laughs>
Oh, you're going to try and, um, yeah, so you're going to hide a present for her. It's surprising that she actually, uh, yeah, it, Milium is still a girl after all. And it's very, oh, she's awake. Oh no. Milim, my yeah. <laughs> well, you tried. <laughs> well, you tried, Subaru. Sorry, Rimuru. Ah, you tried, Rimuru. You should have been a lot quicker, though. You should have just, like, hid the bo the uh, present by the bed. Not on a pillow. <laughs> That's on you. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting the seeing this episode, but that was really adorably cute. Um, I still don't know the name of the little elf girl, though. Why don't I know that? That's a noise. That really does annoy me, honestly. Shion's uh, Christmas uh, Santa outfit. Hmm. Yes. Shauna's outfit was also. Really cute, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that little elf girl has a name. <laughs> wow, how did the Christmas hat get... All the way up there. So yeah, don't break it. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't break it. Another... Christmas present to the good boy Rimuru. Is this from actually Santa? Does that mean Santa actually does exist in this world? Yeah. Is here? Yeah, what? I mean, not going to find out. I saw that wink. All right. So the, that means the this was episode 11, right? So yeah, next episode is New Year. Okay. And then Slime Diaries wraps up. But yeah, Gildred and that little um, guild and that uh, little um, elf girl. Seriously, does she not have a name? Does she seriously not have a name? Because it kind of boggles my mind that after all this time, she has not been named at all. Um, but yeah, guild and the little elf girl is... Um, so not Elf Girl, what I'm talking about, Goblin Girl, um, has, al has always been adorable throughout this entire uh, run of uh, Slime Diaries. So I'm, I'm always looking forward to that. Uh, I should have realized that earlier that she was looking for Gerald. Um, yeah, but I think in terms of the Santa outfits this episode, Shion definitely uh, takes the, uh, 
takes the prize for uh, best Santa outfit. <laughs> Permanent up will probably be uh, Shauna, then uh, Milam. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. You can find links to my anime list, my Twitter, my Discord, etc. down there as well in the, in the, in the description. Uh, you can find a link to my latest video over here. You can find a link to my YouTube channel around here. And uh, yeah, great episode. Um, really, lo yeah, really loved the... Uh, <laughs> The Santa outfits, and I love the little tease that maybe Santa does indeed exist in the uh, in this world, in the Tempest world. I know that it's got a, there's an actual name for the uh, for the world, but I can't think of it at the moment. But uh, yeah, that was a nice uh, twist at the end. What was the name of the? Uh, also, while I'm at it, I might just quickly check the name of the other. The elf princess. Where is she? Um, um she not, oh yeah, Ellen, that's it. Yeah. Ellen, I also really liked Ellen this episode too. Like, I didn't realize she could sing. Um that again, I like shows that surprise me. Like this one surprises me in a different sort of way of like, oh okay, Ellen can actually sing. Um, Santa actually exists in Tempest, that sort of thing. Not like as in like the other sort of surprises of uh, like Tristan Turns and stuff, which we'll probably get back to in part two of uh, Reincarnated as a Slime. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good day as always. Bye.